everyone. My name. Oh, f I fucked that up. There we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I just got back home from seeing John Wick Chapter two, Chapter Two, which was fucking amazing. You need to go see it. One of the greatest action sequels of all time. Anyways, so this um, Avengers: Infinity War first look video got released, and I'm mad that I was out while this happened because I wasn't here to see it with everyone as soon as it came out. But anyways. But I think seeing John Wick Chapter 2 in theaters paid off more than paid off for it. But anyways, I'm here now. Let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> Before creation itself, there were six singularities. Forged into infinity stones. first day here we are in Pinewood in Atlanta and it's it's actually pretty unbelievable day one of what promises to be a year of fun-filled lensing I remember actually going to see the first Avengers with one of my best mates from home and I'd never have dreamed that I'd ever be in one of these movies let alone <laughs> playing spider-man I feel like I'm on top of the world because this is just mind-blowing <laughs> What we always try to do at Marvel Studios is we're building the cinematic universe, is look at the big there he picture, is, the Lord how and can Savior things himself. relate across movies and across years. Avengers Infinity War. That's just a joke, by the way. I don't actually mean that. Marvel Cinematic Universe has started but he is in this, May of 2008 comic book with Spider Man 1. And it really is an unprecedented culmination of a series of films interlinked together, which at the time had never been done before. And for us, the important thing is making it all come together. We know they're going to face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that pits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they face, and yet make them completely unprepared to face them? Well, tear them apart, which is why we did Civil War before Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is now talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. The world is vulnerable. Tony senses this greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. Damn, look at that book. All those notes. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters, and that's gonna create a really combustible, exciting, massive scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio when we hit upon an idea or we see a piece of concept art, and all of us in the room go, this is cool. And in Avengers Infinity War, the Avengers will meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> uh, nice. Because of what For Marvel is, awesome. because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event like no one has ever seen on film. Oh, I I hope it will be. I'm recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? Yep. That's it. So, yeah, this is pretty much just all hype for Infinity War. You know, it's it was really cool to see uh, to see Robert Downey Jr. with Chris Pratt and Tom Holland, and just seeing how excited Tom Holland is. You know, he sort of represents, you know, the the fans in a way. He 
um, you know, it's just really cool to see that Spider-Man is confirmed because for a while we we heard rumors that he won't be in it, but now it's glad, it's nice to see he really truly is in there. And you know, when you're taking the Guardians of the Galaxy and you're letting them meet the Avengers, how like the Avengers are. I assume because it's Thanos, he's we're going to be meeting him. They're all going to be in space in the you know in the cosmic realm together, and you know we see things like this all the time in comics, and we see this in the animated movies, but it's never been attempted before in live action. You know, a big giant adventure, a big giant brawl in in the cosmic realm in space, and um, it's quite unprecedented and. I have all nothing but complete faith in Marvel Studios to get the job done, to not let us down, you know, and I am, you know, it's 1.26 a.m. right now, so I can't be full on hyped and, you know, with, you know, foaming out the mouth excited. I can't be like that right now because all the wind is knocked out of me from being out for about three or four hours, but... I am beyond excited. This is a, an event that I have been hyping myself up for ever since I first heard about this uh, when Phase 3 was announced in 2014. And I, it's going to be a journey I cannot wait to, to see. And it just makes you wonder just what the hell they're going to do after this for Phase 4. My prediction, we're going to bring in the Fantastic Four. You know, Fox is... Ter you know, Fox can't get Fantastic Four right. I hope to God they sell the rights or do a, or at least a partnership with Sony and Marvel, like what Sony did, you know, and get Fantastic Four over to Marvel Studios. Let them take it to creative control, and we get Galactus and the Skrulls. Uh, we yeah, but that's just what I'm hoping for. So, anyways, those are my quick thoughts on this video. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you on my next video next time. Goodbye.